Well, hello, this is Dave Burkus, and my job today is to teach you how to build a recording studio, a semi-pro audio video recording studio at your desk. This can be in the office or in your home, and you'll find that it's very easy to build and not too expensive at all, and can be used for making podcasts, video podcasts, postings to YouTube, to LinkedIn, to Twitter, lots of purposes. And so here we are teaching you now how to do this in just a few minutes. First of all, let me show you in my massive office what I might look like if this office were real. Or in my gigantic conference room, which again is not quite real. Or I can place myself anywhere I wish in a video clip such as at the beach to give you an opportunity to see me in an environment that makes some sense for this particular recording. Let's start with a typical small office. The first thing I should do is to remove myself from the scene so that you can see the videos we're about to show. Here is mine without the green screen. Notice that it's much smaller than it appeared just a few moments ago and certainly not in the environments that you saw. So it's very possible for you to do what we showed a moment ago with just a few pieces of equipment. So let's add the equipment that you would need. The first, an HD video camera. They're very inexpensive, and at the end of this presentation, I'll show you the current prices for each of these. I use two cameras, that's not easy at all, so I can switch scenes and the view of myself as I talk. The microphones we'll speak of in just a few moments. It's also good to add a second monitor, because that second monitor gives you a chance to make your display, or the video you're making, on one and all of the equipment that controls the video on the other. It can still be done with one screen, it's just a little bit more difficult. Well, here's that green screen material. It sure doesn't look very well hung, does it? Or very professional. You know, that just doesn't matter. Turns out that green screens are very forgiving, and those green screens can be used in almost any environment, whether hung from the wall, as you saw mine, or whether put between two frames, which you can buy very easily and very cheaply, and I'll give you the prices for those in just a few minutes too. So then we add audio video recording software. You'll notice that this particular scene is scene 5, although I haven't yet molded myself into it with a single push of a single button, it gives you the chance to see that I would be in a large studio. Here's another with scene 1. Same kind of thing, audio video software, where all you do is set up the scenes very easily and then push the button as to which scene you wish to be in. Then you add editing software by moving the clips that you just recorded, and they can be recorded in whatever form you need, directly into the editing software by dragging and dropping. And then you'll see that you can edit adding everything you need, including music, subtitles, and we'll show you a sample of a completed production in just a few moments. Then you can buy teleprompter software that is free. And you can use this very easily on the other monitor if you're trying to read from a script, as opposed to today, I'm just speaking to you from my own. And then we talk about the no skimping on one. You know you can buy a podcast microphone for just $100 or so they will not give you the quality that you need in any way at all. These are professional microphones. They range in price from $300 to $1295, and they will be the basis for everything you do as far as the quality of professional recording. So, no skimping on it. Here you'll see two microphones. One is the Antelope Edge Go, which we'll speak of in just a few moments as to why that microphone is so expensive. And the other is the one most typically used in broadcasting and sometimes in podcasting. This is the Electrovoice RE325 or the RE20, which is the equivalent of it as well. But why is the Edgego microphone so expensive? Well, here is the control panel for that microphone showing that you can emulate up to 10 different microphones. You can add equalization. You can add de-essing. You can do many other things that a professional studio could do, including adding reverberation, just from the control panel itself. So one microphone 
in this case, is capable of emulating 10 mics and all of those pieces of professional audio equipment, which together would equal a hundred thousand or more dollars if you were to try and emulate them in a professional studio. That's why the Edge Go. A microphone mixer should be used if you have more than one mic or if you're using the Electrovoice RE20 or RE320 because those are microphones that require low impedance microphone inputs. If you're buying a direct USB microphone and the Edge Go will operate either way, direct USB or into a mixer, you don't need a mixer, although it's much more convenient to have one. It also provides more equalization and other features which you might want to have as well. So you add the music and the optional subtitles in the editing process as we'll show you in just a few moments. Lighting in the room should be in the front, not from the ceiling. Natural light from the windows may well work. So you've been waiting for it. Here comes a clip that is one of those recordings made with all of this equipment, adding both subtitles and music. Today our subject is niche marketing. You know, things are changing at a rate not even thought of five years ago. This is a new world for product development and for marketing and demand creation. With all the noise being created by small businesses able to look and act like big business competitors, the message you give to your potential customers is now much different than it was ever before. Well, niche marketing works, and here's how. So now let's summarize by cost. First of all, the HD video camera. I use a Logitech C920, but these cameras are available on Amazon for just $49.99. For green screen material, you can buy the material alone to uh, put onto a wall for $25, or you can add stands for the left and right side so that you can put this behind you no matter where your office desk is. Audio video recording software? Well, I use XSplit for $5 a month. There are other audio video recording software systems available. For editing software, I use VideoPad, which is free or $49 with a DVD. And then for the Pro Microphone, the RE320 or the Antelope Edge Go. The RE320 is a microphone that requires a mixer. The Edge Go can go either through the mixer or through USB direct. The RE320 299, the Edge Go 1295, and we showed you a while ago why emulating over $100,000 worth of equipment in a single microphone. The optional mixer that I use is a Behringer Q802 or an 804 depending on the number of inputs that you want for a 78 to $158. And then your subtitles can be added by Rev.com for $1.25 per running minute. Well, what's that total? Just $452 minimum, up to a maximum of $1,600 for quite a better microphone and a professional recording studio. Not bad at all. Well, as we come to the end of this video, I'd like you to know that I've written 14 books. They're available on Amazon and other resellers. And if you'd look at them and perhaps buy one of them, I'd be very appreciative. This is Dave Burkus. I can be reached at the email address or at the websites that are shown here on the slide. And I look forward to speaking to you the next time. See you then.